We always have a great time at Dutch festivals. We've always had um, little breakthrough moments career-wise in Holland at the festivals. Uh, and the Dutch do it really well. They do festivals really well. So it made sense to us to do something special for Holland based on the live performances. At Lowlands, about, uh, in 2008, uh, we had uh, a gig in the tent in the afternoon and the rain started pouring down so people flocked inside the tent and it was a much bigger audience than perhaps we were expecting um, and it was a really intense personal performance and we picked up a lot of new fans there and it really did a lot of good for us in Holland. When did you get the idea for this new uh, album, special album? Uh, it was just we wanted to do something special, we wanted to do something uh, based around the festivals um, and I think it'd be good for people who uh, witness the recordings that we're going to put on there, you know. It's always a nice thing when you hear a live record and you say, I was in the crowd, you know, and you wonder if you can hear yourself or your friends. And it's something we really love. And we have a history of doing things with festival audiences. When we uh, first played Glastonbury Festival in the UK, we recorded the crowd singing. It was quite a spontaneous thing. I asked them to sing, we still believe in love, so fuck you. Uh, and they really got into it. And then we built a song called Grace Under Pressure around that recording. And the second album was called Cast of Thousands. And we invited people at that festival to send us their names if they were in the crowd, you know. Uh, and we managed to get four and a half, five thousand names on the record sleeve. So it'd be a real treat for people who were there. They'd be able to point to their own name in the record sleeve. Have the songs changed? I mean, your, your album has been out now for half a year. Have the songs changed? Well, when you record a song, you don't know how it's going to be received. Quite often, you don't even know if it's going to make the album. Uh, so it stands to reason that as you play it more and more and become more comfortable with it, you play it differently, you sing it differently. I'd say what generally happens with our songs when we play them live is that they become more dynamic. So the subtle parts are very, very subtle uh, and the big parts are a lot bigger. You know, the joyous parts are a bit more joyful and the wonderful parts are more wonderful. This uh, new edition of the album, how many songs will it contain? I think it's five. Unless we you think? <laughs> I, I think it's five. Um, yeah, five extra, songs. five extra songs. Build a Rocket Boy songs. Do you know what songs already? I uh, know we're going to take them from this performance at Lowlands. We're going to take them from uh, Pink Pop as well. Uh, so we're not sure. We're going to pick the best five moments that we have and add them to the existing album. So what songs will definitely be on it? Uh... I think the birds. Um, the night will always win. The River, um, Open Arms, and Lippy Kids. Yeah, I think I think they may be the five. And will you be using these songs maybe outside uh, Holland too? No, this is exclusively for the Dutch as a, a bit of a thank you from us because the Dutch is so fucking cool.